All right, all right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, God. Bless everybody. What a beautiful Saturday it is. Hope everybody's doing well. Y'all already know, giving God the honor, the glory, and the praise. This is another blessed day. I want to talk about the Sanhedrin for a moment, or some might pronounce it the Sanhedrin. And I want to give a shout out to my man, Mr. Sparks32. Uh, powerful, powerful uh, email. And uh, I'm not going to make this video that long, but I might come back and do a part two on this. Um, but to just kind of paraphrase a lot of things and sum it up, the Sanhedrin, um, especially if you know anything about Romans, but uh, the Sanhedrin, they were the governing council of the Jews. And by them being that, man, they could make laws and, and put people in the prison real quick. And the Romans who pretty much, like I said, if you know about the Romans, the Romans pretty much, we know, had ruled much of the world. Um, and they would let most of the nations they conquered govern themselves under the Roman governor. So the term, when you look at Sanhedrin, it, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's from a Greek word that means assembly or council. And the great Sanhedrin was the Supreme Court of ancient Israel. And if you do any study, you'll see where it was about 70 men and the high priest. And uh, there's nothing new nowadays. You, you ever wonder why the law can always change the law? There's no justice, really. It's just a lot of crooked people, a lot of dirt going on. The law is more crooked than anything now. And we see how they didn't really stand on their word because look at what they did to Jesus. You know, Jesus didn't commit no crime at all. But like I say, they could they could make up the law and they could put you in the prison real quick. Now, if they kill Jesus for no reason at all, why do we think nothing would happen to us? You remember the chief priest, brother, and the whole Sanhedrin, they was looking for all kind of false evidence against Jesus so they could kill Jesus. <laughs> but they found out that Jesus did nothing wrong. Jesus was completely innocent. And they wanted to know, was Jesus the son of God? You know, you remember, if you go back and read the story, they asked Jesus, you know, some questions. But Jesus was silent at first. But then Jesus came back and said, in the future, you will see the son of man sitting at the right hand of the father. And they didn't like that too much. The high priest, what they do after that, they tore Jesus' clothes and they went to all, calling him all kind of names. They said he was blaspheming. And they wanted Jesus dead for sure after that. So then we see where they spit on Jesus, spit in his face. They punched him. They slapped him. All for what reason? And see, all this happened right before Peter disowned Jesus. You see, my brothers and sisters, we have never went through what Christ went through. We don't even compare to what Jesus went through. You can imagine just and remind you, Jesus was also in the flesh. And he was also God, but what Jesus went through, look at how Peter gets on him. Then you keep reading the story. Look at what Judas had done. And then after that, the soldiers mocked him. They, they stripped him some more. They, they put them crown of thorns in his head. They beat him bad. And they beat up our Savior so bad that you couldn't even recognize who he was. Then there was the crucifixion. And then there was the burial of Jesus. But, hmm. What happened when the guard came at the tomb? See, this is where we, we shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, I see it for y'all, because there was a resurrection, which I'm so glad that he got up and he rose again. And that's when our beautiful women went to spread the word. They went to go tell the good news. I got a question for y'all. Where was the disciples at? Because Jesus told them ahead of time what was going to happen, how it was going to happen, and then to meet them in a certain spot. But where was the disciples at? And I'm saying it for a reason, because men, preachers, bishops, all of y'all who got something to say about women shouldn't spread the word of God, you better be careful who you're saying, who, who can spread, who can't spread the word of God. Uh-oh, I just made somebody mad. And then there had to be a report. Mm -hmm. There was a report. And we all know what happened with that God report. Got a lot now, huh? See, you can lose your you can lose your position and your life real quick back then. Oh, them laws was see, it was a lot of man-made laws. Oh, that's why I wanted to talk about the Sanhedrin and uh, Sanhedrin, however you want to pronounce it. And when you look at all of this that I'm talking about, the good news is that he rose again. And then there was the Great Commission, which I spoke about about a couple of weeks ago on earth. 
the great commission Jesus commanded. Go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them. See, this is what we're supposed to be doing, going out and making disciples. I didn't just say in Dallas, Texas. I didn't just say in Florida. I, I mean all around. That's why this gospel must be preached. And that's another reason why the world the, the, the end of this earth, excuse me, the end of this earth age has never happened. I don't say end of the world. I, I'm, I know better than to say that because this world will never end. But the end of the earth age, we don't know how old this earth is just to be truthful. So with that being said, God bless you. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace.